During the COVID-19 pandemic, vaccines were rolled out within a year, faster than most experts believed possible, and messenger RNA vaccines were among the first to gain approvals. They work by giving the body's immune system a preview of potentially dangerous invaders. A dose contains many copies of a short stretch of precise genetic information, the messenger RNA. It induces cells to start making proteins that are otherwise only found on a specific pathogen, like the proteins that stud the surface of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Then, when the immune system encounters the virus, it quickly recognizes the invader and wipes it out. Categorically, messenger RNA vaccines have proven to be exceptionally effective. They have proven to be able to protect people against severe and life-threatening disease and consequently save millions of lives. There are different types of RNA, but all of them are coding molecules, and that code can be rewritten. That's why many drug developers describe RNA as medicinal software. Vaccines that use this software have a major advantage over other platforms. Their codes can be easily altered to also make other proteins found on other disease-causing microbes, teaching the immune system how to fight them as well. And RNA can encode for proteins found not just in infectious diseases, but also, for instance, in cancers. In addition to messenger RNA, a range of other RNAs play key roles in metabolism and health. So they also have potential as medicines. The cancer application is quite interesting because it is not a vaccine that will prevent cancer, but rather it is a therapeutic vaccine. It is a vaccine directed, custom tailored to the cancer of the, of the patient, which enhances and directs the immune response to more efficiently clear the tumor. Around 20 RNA treatments have been approved so far globally, and dozens more are in trials in a wide range of diseases.